Welcome to your weekly UAS news update. We have five stories for you this week, yet kind of a long one. Uh, 300 weeks of news updates, super exciting. We have Wingcopter that introduces a new LiDAR unit. A Baltimore man accused of flying over the NFL games faces some felonies. We have the Pika Pelican 2, which is a very large drone. And then lastly, Skybrass comes up with a new update to improve their interior mapping. Let's get to it. First up, this week marks 300 weeks of news updates. That's right, 300 consecutive weeks of news update, I would add. Uh, we haven't missed a single Friday since uh, I started doing this. Now, I missed a couple of these where the team uh, filled in when I was gone on vacation or sick or whatever it was, but uh, I wanna say a big thank you for tuning in and making this possible. Uh, we get a ton of feedback everywhere we go that you guys watch this and appreciate these updates. Uh, I started this because I wanted to keep my students in the loop about what was going on in the industry. Uh, it turned out to be so much more than that. Uh, it also turned out to really help me stay and get a good pulse on what is going on in the industry at the same time. So uh, again, uh, thanks for that. And to share kind of how we've grown since we've done this uh, in, in the last few years, uh, we have over 390,000 students. We're very short here in the next month or so. We should be getting to uh, 400,000 students in our system. Uh, over 115,000 Part 107 uh, courses, uh, people trained for that. Uh, 48 drone courses in our catalog now. Uh, we've shipped over 50,000 remote uh, stickers for your drone, free stickers that we provide to the community. Uh, we've issued 6,300 FA Wings credit on the FA Safety website and 258,000 certificates again these are available for free uh, to the uh, to the community and and this is just the beginning uh, soon we'll be moving into our new facility just got some good news about this actually today and there we're going to be able to start offering even more uh, cool things including in-person training so really really excited about this but uh, yeah let's get to the news so, uh, Wingcopter released a LiDAR unit for its Wingcopter 198. Now, according to the press release at Geo Week, uh, the Wingcopter 198 can survey over 37 miles of linear infrastructure in a single flight and also carrying a 10 pound payload at the same time. Uh, the system can achieve a point cloud density of 570 points per square meter, a 10 millimeter uh, sensor accuracy, and 5 millimeter precision. Uh, in approximately 42 minute flight that they have on, on this uh, Wingcopter, 198. The uh, LiDAR can scan 2,560 acres. Imagine 2,500 acres in 42 minutes. So really cool new tech. Uh, we actually, I just came back from being at Geo Week, uh, not really the type of show that I go to usually, but uh, really interesting to see all of the tech, uh, especially the ones that involved all the drones. Uh, third up, we have a Baltimore man that was arrested after allegedly flying a drone over the uh, m and Bank Stadium earlier this year. We covered this story at the time. Uh, the NFL paused the game in the third quarter when the drone, allegedly belonging to Alex Perez Suarez, that's his name, uh, was spotted flying approximately 400 feet over the stadium. Uh, the uh, drone allegedly took seven pictures before flying away from the stadium. Uh, Alex is now facing three charges, three federal charges, for flying into restricted airspace, operation of an unregistered drone, uh, operation of an aircraft without an airman certificate, and willful violation of national defense airspace. So, uh, as always, please don't be that guy. Next up, Pika announced the introduction of the Pelican 2 in the United States. Uh, the, the, the Pika drone is a large, and I, and I say, and I mean this, a large fixed wing spray drone that is designed for crop dusting. The Pelican 2 has a 300 liter capacity, hot swappable batteries, it has LiDAR and radar, and it comes at a price point of, wait for it, $550,000. I know that's a little bit hard to swallow the pill, but obviously this is a large aircraft. Now, according to Pika, the Pelican is the largest drone that has been authorized to operate uh, in the United States. Now, I'm not sure we'll be getting one of those anytime soon, but uh, if somebody has one and wants to uh, bring it over to give us a demo, uh, we'd love to see that. Next up, Skybrows announced a major change to their indoor mapping processing. According to the press release, the new processing method uses AI in order to verify that each of the individual rooms have been processed correctly. Uh, the verification allows for additional speed, clarity, and accuracy when doing the model. Now, if you're not familiar with Skybrows, they're a 3D mapping software that uses video uh, to uh, do the 3D models instead of using traditional photos uh, that we typically see in other uh, processing software. Software. Uh, their lowest tier is actually free, so if you're interested in doing 3D modeling, uh, that's a great place to start. And then they have additional options uh, as you need uh, more things to do your job. 
And then also join us later today. We'll have happy hour in the community. We'll have the live Q&A back on schedule on Monday now that I'm back in the office. And then we'll have post-flight uh, on Monday in the premium community as well. So we'll see you then. Mm -hmm.